troops. Hola, 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 hola. May 8, 2019. <clears throat> Let's do daily energy. Daily energy. Let's start here. Let's see what your lesson is. Let's see what's in the air. Let's see what's in the air. Daily energy, please. May 8, 2019. 2019. Ooh, tricky, tricky. I just saw like a, um, not a trampoline, I saw like a, <laughs> you're gonna laugh, like a circus act, like the high, high wire, I don't, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, that's what the car just did, so I hope you're not in a circus, okay? <clears throat> it's like being really particular. Success. Okay. I know there's no greater goal than to love. Okay. So some people are not loving or they're not going after love or you're about to go after love. This is all about being in your feelings. Okay. So this is, that's the lesson. Okay. That's kind of presenting itself to you guys and at the bottom of the deck is forgiveness you know I acknowledge that harboring you know obviously resents the block of the flow of love so they're linked okay so it can be somebody from your past it could be somebody you know brand new and <clears throat> if it's your past they want forgiveness or you need to forgive them or vice versa or together you both owe each other an apology or basically what it's saying too, if there's no one in your life and it's not the past that comes in or you go towards, vice versa, um, it's like having a hard time, you know, finding that self-love again. All right. So it, it goes either way, but just know once you get past this and you're feeling fresh and happy again, especially with, you know, freedom being right here too, um, things... You know, your world looks a little brighter, okay? So, daily energy, please, May 8th. I almost said May 6th, so I don't know if I did everything on the 6th, all right? Um, and it might be linked. Okay, messenger of earth, fire, and I said earth. Um, three of air, so somebody wants to deliver a message, but it's, it's hard, okay? You're finding yourselves in a situation where, you know, it's, it's delivering a message. <sighs> Someone's heart is hurting. I just got like the a little bit of goosebumps, so I don't. And I just got like the full goosebumps now that I said that, but it was like a little, it was like a a little goosebumps, like, which is strange. Hmm. I don't know what that's trying to tell me. I mean, we definitely have a heart that that's hurting for sure. So let's see. Let's see what else we get. <clears throat> but only half the goosebumps I don't know whatever I guess that means to you you know like then you got the nine of fire so it's like that reminds me of the hermit okay um we also have the six of earth at the bottom of the deck <sighs> seven of swords reverse something's coming back around it reminds me of the hermit with the light you know not not giving up um soul searching so this is definitely a message i will tell you you could have a teenager that's in this pain um of of, of you know a breakup or, or whatever the case may be because th that's what it looks like especially especially if it's a teenager or it could just be you know um linked to a friend you know and they got in an argument it could be that type of energy too and it's like 
being really hurt, like a friend hurt someone. You know, but at the same time, I feel like someone's not owning up to something here. You know, it's it's one of those situations where it's ironic, especially if you have a teenager, or this can be your situation because it's, it's the story. I got I got one child that was arguing with a friend, okay? And it's, it's like then she went and got another friend, but then my other daughter's always with the boyfriend. And it's like, well, do you ever think for one second, like, that's how people lose friends because you're giving all your time to one person and, and there's no synergy between friends. And at that age, you know, there's jealousy and, you know, your friend still loves you. But it's like, you got to own up to it. You got to tell them, hey, I know I've been spending a lot of time with X, Y, Z. And, you know, obviously I, I made you feel this way and I'm sorry. It's like, it's like the two of them got to own up to it. And then the other friends got to own up to being, you know, a little snooty or pushing the other one out. But in reality, it was she was he or she was hurt. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it could be that way too when it comes to a teenager. So, because I don't know, I mean, it's a, it's a messenger, you know, um, so it, it, it's, it's a message, all right, and it, and it has to do with love, and, and, and someone's hurt, no matter how you look at the scenario, and I, I think they're really soul searching, but there's, there's still something that, I mean, there's a blockage. It's, it's, it's somebody still in that energy of, will someone forgive me or will they not forgive me? There's, there's a lot of love. And like I said, this doesn't always have to be a lover situation, guys. I just gave you a prime example of what one of my daughters is going through. And I try to, as much as she don't want to hear it from me and she's blocking the message. It's like, no, but I did nothing wrong. No, at the same time, you, you neglected your friend. You know, so you kind of sort of did. So we have, and it, and, and it didn't even have to be, in, and it wasn't intentional, you know. So um, pay attention to red flags. So it's like this person is seeing synchronicities, but they're blatantly ignoring them. And it, it's keeping them in this energy. So there's been lots of synchronicities i'd say i'm feeling even two months that there's been little signs which i can clearly see from the story i just told because i how many times have she asked to, to hang out but yet you were with your boyfriend see what i'm saying so this has been going on so but it's like this person you know is it's like somebody was blatantly ignoring the situation and, and now it's come down to the point where it's 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 hard to express it's 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 hard and and you know it's like and I also have it as spirit saying don't don't give up even though you're hurting you know if there was an ending it's like there's still something where spirit's saying fight for it you know and this see healing family issues and and it's like it's all what family means to you you know, it, it could be the bloodline, or it's, it, to me, it can be an extended with friends and family too. So, is is a lot of pain. Is there's is this is linked to pain, and I feel like there's people on the exterior, whether blood or not, that could get hurt, and or is this person carrying hurt, and um. <sighs> It's also linked to parental conditioning. It, it is linked to DNA, too. I don't know if, you know, growing up, they, they didn't get that love. Or they're realizing, or you're realizing now, like, there should have been more love. Like, things shouldn't have been that way. And is this why I'm um, this way? So we also have some regression here, too past life regression kind of you know and it's like well someone you're dealing with might just have a family you know and it's like maybe somebody doesn't want to come in and disrupt someone's family or maybe they think <clears throat> if they deliver a message to you what would this person's family think you know that it says a whole lot guys tell me about the nine of fireplace <clears throat> So, or you recently delivered a message and, you know, you're sad and, and spirit is telling you not to, not to give up, you know? So it really just depends on 
how you you link to this. So it's like I feel icy icy energy. I don't I don't know if somebody shut someone off and it's just kind of like icy, you know. Um, and it says it's safe for you to love. I right? open your heart and receive the highest energy of all. And it's like don't don't give up. So I don't know if somebody wants to give up because you know there's love. It's all about love. And this person might not feel safe because when it comes to a relationship or something with adults because they're coming in as fire. So it's like they want the adventure. But where's here's, here's the emotion, okay? But like where's the love? It, it's like this, this person like kind of sort of feels it. That's probably why I got half the goosebumps. But, so it's like you're dealing with somebody who can't distinguish something and it's because of the way they were raised and I, and I know that sounds lousy and I'm sorry if it offended anybody but that's that's the truth in the matter it, it's almost like not being able to confront something or, or whatever the case may be it, it's linked to what they were taught how people sat down with people how other people showed their affection affection it, it's, it's linked to family you know or maybe there's a family member that doesn't really want them to be with this other person and that's holding them back. You know, because family can be friends too. But there is some DNA linked, okay? And I and I feel like this one's like, yeah, there's love, okay? It could be successful, but there's you got to see both sides of a, a situation that somebody's not quite seeing yet. And it's like, it's like whatever somebody's harboring and, it, and it's it's pain, but it's like, I don't even know if it's linked to you. It could just be linked to, to family and how somebody was raised. And now someone's struggling to come in, you know, or express or whatever the case may be. And it's like, to me, I keep saying like spirit saying this, like I, I don't, it's so bizarre, but it could just be this person thinking, don't give up. Or it's somebody saying like, you know, don't give up. Like me, when I tell my daughter, like, don't give up on your friend, like own up to a little, of whatever it is you're in. You know what I mean? Because in all reality, you don't see it that way. But I, but somebody felt neglected. All right. So this not a fire. Um, it's a spirit. All right. So it's not spirit. It's it's one energy not wanting to give up. Okay. Both their heads are down. Same energy. All all the same energy. Okay. Um, they don't feel like it's safe. It could be a feminine feeling this way, and, and, and it's like, I don't know if you think that there's some type of blockage, and it's part of their family or friends, and that's why they're not coming in. It's like, this is pain, and um, but like, it could be someone, because I don't feel anger, so it's, it's sorrow. It's not, you know, I, I don't think it's like crying every day sorrow, but like... You know, it, it could be, it could be ego, all right, but I, I don't, I think it's both, you know, to be honest with you. Tell me about the messenger of fire. So somebody was blatantly ignoring or not addressing, that's too many, or not addressing something, <clears throat> but it looks like a, a, a message went out or a message is, is coming in, okay. <clears throat> the devil. Could be dealing with a strong Capricorn energy, but like to me, this isn't saying it's toxic. It's saying like it's that's it's fear. Fear has reversed. It is this is fear. This conditioning. It's addressing something that's extremely hard to address. It's karma. All right, and. It's like maybe a divine feminine, you know, she followed all the synchronies or she, she went her gut or I don't know how many times what if she tried something or if this is the masculine thinking about the feminine, you know, I'm not sure. But like whatever this is, the pain, see, that's why I was like, it's not that strong a pain. It's still pain, okay, because when when something sad touches your soul, it doesn't just go away, you know, but like this person could just have fear of having their heart hurt again. 
if I deliver this message, you know, will I get hurt? It's, it's, it's that type of energy. Tell me about this three of hearts. Because to me, this is somebody who wants to message someone and it's just, it has to do with the, the way they were raised. I can't, I, you know, and it's like the two of swords. So it's like they're making that decision, but they're not blindfolded. Okay. So, and they have a, the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. And sometimes that can speak of ego too. So it's, but this person thinks like something won't go won't go right. So that's that's karma. They could have just got out of a situation with somebody that some individual even had no idea. And they know when they deliver some type of truth or news, it, it's going to break it's going to break someone's heart. Tell me about the nine of fire. So this is one energy that doesn't want to, doesn't want to give up. So, but they, they don't got, they got some hard, a hard delivery. They got, nine of fire, please, nine of fire. It's the hangman. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or, or this is hung up because it's like, somebody still needs to walk towards their happiness. So this is an energy that, that kind of wants to message and, but, you know, is, is not because they don't want to speak the truth or they think that this empress is, is no longer going to forgive them. You know, um, I don't know if there's some money issues here. I don't know if it's really, or it's just like, maybe I left them out in the cold. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know you guys would resonate with this how, however it is you're resonating with it but like this is what that is for however it works with you and it, it's someone needs to forgive someone and I, I feel like the other one thinks that someone's not going to forgive them but it's like whatever this is it's like they're not giving up but at the same time it's like they're not sending the message karma's getting the best of someone fear's getting the best of somebody and it's like they need to and if and if they're not they're definitely thinking about you, family, the way they were raised, I mean, that's, it's, it's not about this, you right now, it's about how they were raised, it's all about them, okay, and, or, or you, vice versa, however, it's, it's resonating, and their life is on hold, okay, because they know love's at the forefront, and, like, their life must be, like, not necessarily stagnant, but definitely not, not flowing, not flowing the right way, you know, and it definitely looks like they've lied to you, or this is the Empress not putting effort into anything anymore because of the lies. Like, no longer fighting for somebody's heart. It looks like the feminine is, is, is no longer fighting for someone's heart too but at the same time we also have somebody here who's scared to to, to love so I don't know if you're gonna get this message you're gonna get your heart broken if you already got a message and then all of a sudden you just decide to walk away instead of fighting you know maybe you were a fighter and, and now you're no longer no longer fighting but it's still linked to your karma too it's the two of you guys karma because it's the devil with the two of you it's, it's the tool you guys is karma. You guys, you guys have, this might not be the same karma, but it would have been like, say, you were dealing with somebody who walked away from you, and, and now it's like, you're feeling that karma. So it's like, you might, rather than trying to really work on something, okay, you might want to walk away from it too. It, it could be something like that. So let me just find out this messenger of fire with this deck, and then we're going to wrap this up. But I just split it at the two of air and ego. So somebody's ego is definitely getting the best of them. Because I, I was like, I know there's something with ego here too. But there's, there's also pain too. Okay. But the two and the ego that I was talking about. Because that underneath that was the six of wands. So it's like unwilling to make a, a decision. is a stalemate with the hangman. All right. Procrastinating. Pretending there's no problem. But there is a problem because somebody's heartbroken. All right, and it's like someone's feeling trapped in a situation, but it's like you're not trapped. You're too focused on materialistic things, all right? And negative thoughts and fear-based thoughts are stopping somebody right now. So it's like 
and I don't even see the money here, but this is somebody focused on, you know, material things, trying to not make a decision when it comes to somebody and is just putting all their, their thought and focus into work instead of addressing what really needs to be addressed because this is straight up somebody who's pretending that there's no problem right now. And it's clear as day that there's there's a problem. And someone's ego is in the way. Okay. Um, this does talk about the, the ego being worked on. Okay. But it's also upright here. It's still upright. So this is a stalemate situation right now. It's, it's just, so if you were waiting on something, I don't know whoever's scenario. Tell me about the messenger of fire, please. So, it, but it's like, I think, like, because I pulled recently on top, and it's like, now the blindfold's off, and the ego's dissipating. You know, it's just, it's that one last battle, but that one last battle has to do with the conversation. So, if you haven't had a conversation with somebody about this, then maybe it just hasn't hit yet. Because I, I can look at this in a very love, a, a love way, a very, um like adults and I can also see it from a teenager's point of view because it, I already went through all this with a teenager all of it you know so messenger of fire please messenger of fire messenger of fire please damn that's a ton of water all right so it it's, could be a rewarding family life too in a very trustworthy relationship but it's, it's like Fear is still kind of getting the best of somebody, but it's kind of telling you. And then at the bottom of the deck, it's, it's the nine of fire. Don't give up. Okay, protect what it is that you've created and have the courage. It's like believing in yourself that you can really have this happiness. You know, and it's that's what I'm saying. Like, there's love here, and somebody's not addressing it. And this person's, you know, got a lot of love. They know the love is there. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's in give up mode. Um, you could be dealing with somebody right now too that um, is drinking. That can be an addiction, and, and it's you know especially with the ten of water. Every time this person gets hurt or has a thought of somebody else, it's like, let me just mask it and have a drink. That could be a problem right now too. It could be an addiction. You know, I, I, it's like, oh, I don't want to feel this. Let me grab a drink. Tell me about the three of them. You know, so it's like, it's, it's unfortunate when somebody else sees it, but they do nothing about it. Because at the end of the day, guys, you go after love. Yeah, it can hurt. It can be painful. But it can be the most beautiful experience in your entire life. You gotta take a leap of faith sometimes. And if you choose not to, then it doesn't look that great. It really doesn't. It looks like an addiction might get the best of somebody. All right, and with the three of air, we got the five of fire and the nine of air. All right, so it's bothersome details, conflicts with others. Um, and then, again, expecting the worst. All right, stressed out. You know, because when this person delivers the truth, it ends friendships. It, it basically, karma is served, but it does affect other people. And I, I did feel like there's a friend thing going on here. And the five of wands is instantly I felt a friend thing. So it's it's almost like when the when the truth is delivered, because it hasn't been delivered with the ace of swords being reversed here. So it's like when the truth's delivered, it, it is. It's, it's like this person's going to have a hard time coming in and delivering the truth to somebody. But there's also something on the outside when it comes to family and friends that's that's been restricting them. Okay, and giving them sleepless nights because probably when they come to this person, they're about to lose friends or family. But to me, it's like it really just depends on your circumstances. But if the true friends are still be there, but like I don't know, all of a sudden I feel a setup. I don't know if there was a setup that somebody didn't know about. There's something going on here. Other people know. Exterior energy knows about this, either friends or family. Okay, and this person is having the hardest time. And, and they know their prophecies. They've seen their future. But it's like, once this person, whoever this is, whether it's feminine or masculine, once this person hears the truth, it yeah, it puts an end to karma, okay? And a lot of relief off everybody's shoulders. But the exterior energy is going to end friendships. But if there was a setup and some type of plan 
that somebody doesn't know about and it gets brought to somebody's attention because somebody's holding on to that truth, that plan, that setup, whatever it is. Something was set up and I don't think the other person even knew about it. This truth you don't even know about, okay, and it involves other people and when the truth comes out, it, it's going to end some friendships. Tell me about the nine of fire. But to me, it's like there's there's love here. At the end of the day, who do you wanna who do you wanna be with? Do you do you wanna sit in this agony? Do you wanna sit in this, or do you wanna confront and tell the truth to somebody you love? Because this is screaming love. This is love. It's screaming love. Okay. So nine of fire. But somebody doesn't want to. Someone doesn't want to speak the truth because it's going to affect other people in their circle. Just going to call it exactly how it was just told. All right. So um, that was the page of air, but I don't, I don't want it. Hold on. Challenging information delays, delays or change plans. All right. The, the truth being delivered without tact, but that's not the one I want, but that is definitely linked to it. So this person is, is watching somebody, you know, and it's like, the, and they're watching the person they love, whether it's social media, whether it's like at work, it really just depends on the situation. All right. And there it's like, they probably, this person has never felt this type of love because it scares the shit out of them. And, and it's linked to the family. Like it's, it's like the love you provide, they're not used to. And it's like, they know, they know, but it's hard, it's comic. They know they're happiest with you, or they can be. It's like, they don't want to give up, all right? But I, I also see an addiction, and I also see outside influence, because once this person comes to this particular woman or masculine, once this happens, it ruins friendships. It could even cause a wedge in the family. But at the end of the day, again, who are you happy with? Because there's a lot of love here, and it can be very successful, there's just a need for forgiveness. And it might be the two of you that owe each other an apology. Tell me about the nine of fire, please. This is um this is difficult. Difficult situation for someone. You know, but if 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 this isn't your read, it's not your read. If if this sounds like it's, it's your read, if you're the feminine or the masculine, it's you're not hearing from somebody, just you gotta keep living your life, okay? Because you don't want this type of energy. Like this is that type of energy where it's like, whoa, back up. You're way too close to my aura. My, you know what I mean? Like, and, and that's personal space. And I call it aura. And your aura goes about three feet. And a lot of people, I don't know if you knew that. So it's like you could be walking down the street and pick up on someone's energy. You know what I mean? So it's like, and that person could be three feet away from you. Because that's the first thing I heard. Like, you don't want this aura next to you unless this person... Unless the two of you can forgive each other and, and do that last stage of healing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not giving me a cat. It's having me still talk. So it's like, it's still a possibility that you guys can do that last stage of healing together. Okay. Um, they got the nine of fire twice. So I don't know if that's mutual energy. Maybe you both feel like it's not safe anymore. Because I felt the feminine walking away from the situation too. And not putting energy or effort into anything anymore with the Empress reversed anymore. Because it's like, she's not getting the truth of a situation you know, and, and then maybe when she does get the truth, you know, this one fears that this one's going to leave this feminine. It's, it's got to be the empress. So whatever he has to say is is not what you think. There is, there was manipulation here. There was motivation behind something. There could have been cameras involved. I don't know what that's about. This is huge, guys. This is huge. There was some type of setup. There, there was something from the very get, get go, with you and someone else that you were unaware of. And when you hear that truth, you might want to walk away. And, and you know, be but your karma is gonna catch up to you too. Because if you guys have that much for love for each other, you should be able to work it out. But the truth needs to be delivered, and it's not. And there's some type of setup. The something was set up. Nine of fire. Nine of fire. So the, it looks like the Empress is no longer putting effort into a situation, okay? Or <clears throat> she's going to want to walk away because she's not getting the truth. But if you ask me, it's already stood up. She's already fought for something that she didn't get. She didn't get the truth. She walked away. She's no longer putting effort into it. She's no longer dealing with being hung up. You know what I'm saying? Like, not getting the truth... 
being lied to or being having the silent treatment. I'm not putting effort into this anymore. I'm done with the hang up because it was like that. You know what I mean? Walking away. And I think you were dealing with somebody. We have uh, probably a feminine on the board that was very, um, tried to nurture something. Last nine days, last nine weeks, last nine months. Got two nines, again with the nines. Three nines, actually. So you guys should probably Google that because you got nine, nine, nine on top of each other. I might as well do that for you right now considering I'm right here. Because um, it's something needs to be said because this last card is, is not coming out. So let's find out. <clears throat> because I know the 99 is like, it's all about love, love until, well, I'll tell you what it is real quick until I move forward. All right. It's finding a paradox too, where you love until you hurt. So there can no longer be hurt. There can only be more love. So when I tell you there's a lot of love here, there is a lot of love here. But let's find out with the, the triple nines because the triple nines are here. So the meaning of the 999 when it comes to love, okay, it's it's completion. So this is something that has to, the truth has to be told. It's, it's karmic. You know, so it's like, it's the ending of your life. This ending is going to be completed real soon. And the truth's going to come in. And you guys can either choose to, you know, rebuild, persevere. You know, it's all about performance and, and pushing through with this certain particular if person in particular if you choose to. It's like better better things on the horizon. You know, it may be a confusing and difficult time, but know that things will work out in this difficult situation. You know, so it's it's a time of change you know and it's it's powerful you guys are at the highest vibration right now so it's like please look it up there's there oh my gosh there's just there's so much and it, it's it's actually based on because I, I do spiritually but the the nines represent a lot of love too okay but um Especially if you've been seeing nines. I don't want to get into that. I just want to continue. But go look up the three nines yourself, please. If you feel drawn to. So. I have, That's ugly. I don't know. But the truth needs to be told. You know. So. I think this is... Uh, think this is for the feminine because we have the queen of earth and, and it's time for those who are around you you know you're gonna have to deal with the challenges in a more understanding meaning so it's like it's, it's almost like more nurturing energy versus walk away energy you know and it's like I don't know if she's enjoying life's little things right now you know spending quality time to herself and, and being successful with self-employment which makes sense you know because she's coming in as the empress so it's like She's confident, solid, nurturing. So that's why I feel like somebody had to walk away from this because the truth's not being told. This is not a conversation that's had, that's been happened yet because the truth was not exposed. And then you got the moon, okay? So it says there is events behind the scenes being released, you know, but it's all about releasing the fears that are holding you back too. So you could be dealing with a strong Pisces right now because that's where the devil is, a Pisces or a Cappy. Okay, so... You know, and then, yeah, the eight of water. So, again, a desire to move on, to search for something more meaningful, you know, spiritual growth, emotional growth, too. She's somebody was stuck here. The feminine walked away. She wasn't getting the truth. But I think now that somebody walked away, the truth, the, it looks like the truth is going to be delivered. And it could be delivered, you know, by the, the night of air. But right now it looks like he's not talking. But it's saying, you know, speak your mind and, and have the confidence, you know, balance your mental and emotional considerations out, you know. So it's like that conversation hasn't come in yet because that, that is saying there was a walk away because there was no communication, okay. So it, it's a tough scenario, but I will tell you, I remind you at the end of the day, you know, that there is, there's pain here and there's love and there's a need to, to forgive somebody or yourself and, and just know no matter how bad you've been hurt in your lifetime, whether it was through parents or ex-boyfriends or girlfriends, you know, there's, it's so important to love. It's, it's also the highest vibration. Yeah, it can be scary to, to have that type of intense love all over again because this is, this is deep, okay? And there's something here that's, that's whoa. But um, it can be balanced out. Like the synergy is here. 
You know what I mean? Like, and this person knows, you know, um, that this, this person makes them happy, but it is that blindfolds off. All right. The, the ego is going away, but this truth being delivered is had, and it's linked to either family or friends. Okay. And I don't think the feminine even realizes there's, there's going to be some pain. <laughs> there's going to be some pain. And this person knows it, but is still avoiding it. And that is, that's not how you go about something. So if you're the empress and you walked away, then continue doing what it is you're doing until this gets presented to you. What if it's months? What if it's days? What if it's hours? Keep doing whatever it is you're doing because this is a difficult situation. You could have just gotten a, a breakup with somebody recently too. A, a fresh breakup, you know. And there could have been exterior energy. Because it's definitely exterior energy. But again, it doesn't have to be a lover. It just could be friends. Spending too much time with friends. And, you know, so. Um, but for this love situation, that's deep love. Here's your best advice. And, and success, um, forgiveness is, is big there. Because it, it drew me right right to there. All right. So it's, it's the Ace of Fire. And, you know, exciting new opportunities and your life's about to change. So this this is eventually going to, to come in. And at the bottom of the deck, you got unity. I mean, spiritual organizations too. Certain mentors, like-minded like friends. So you definitely have somebody who's spiritual on my board. And maybe the other one's not as spiritual. Because there's a spiritual union about to come into, come together. Okay, there is a new opportunity, and this is advice for, for both of you, okay, so it's like your life's going to change, so this is, this is going to come in, and again, together, it's six, it talks about that synergy, and like I said, the, the seven of air was reversed, that, that comma is coming back around, this is the type of comma that you cannot avoid, it's unavoidable comma, whether you choose to move forward together or not, but there's a lot of love here, I don't see how you wouldn't Okay, because right underneath that, that too, is um, Queen of Water relationships de develops to a brand new level. You got to trust your intuition, you know, care for yourself and others too. It's that nurturing energy. Okay, so it looks like somebody walked away because the truth, somebody didn't get the truth, but it looks like the truth is coming because this won't be resolved for this other person, this other energy until they deliver the truth. Somebody already walked away from the scenario. But this person knows it's karma. They know it has to be addressed. But there's fear there too. But whenever this comes in, it's going to trigger both your fears. So don't let certain energy get the best of you. Okay? So just hang in there. Even if it's a friendship situation, it looks like, you know, you guys are soulmates. It looks like you guys will be besties the rest of your life, whether it's a lover or a best friend. Whatever this is can be fixed. It truly can be fixed. But somebody somebody walked away, so it's, it's a matter of this person can forgive. And coming in as the, what was it, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pence. It, it's just, I know it sounds crazy because there's a big mess on the board. It just takes synergy. That simple. Synergy is all that's required here. Whatever this is, though, troops, um, you guys are going to have to heal together. It's going to hurt. <clears throat> it's going to hurt. But at the end of the day, you know, if you guys got that much love for each other, you're going to push through. Because you're there for each other. And considering you're both spiritual, or one is for sure, it's that, that extra outlook is is a beautiful thing to have in a situation like this and it's having like-minded friends so it's kind of like you're both you're both spiritual and um it, it's the synergy is what's called for right now okay and it can it, it's, it's gonna be difficult it's not like super simple but it's just gonna take synergy on on two people okay and um somebody lost somebody's attention <clears throat> so 
So it might even be harder for this person to speak the truth. I'm just, you know, I looked right over and I got jealousy. I just looked at jealousy. Make today so awesome that yesterday was is jealous. So I don't know what that's all about, but je there's jealousy. I didn't see it on the board though, but it pulled me to it. Could be doing. You could be dealing with a Lou. Um, but. <clears throat> Friendship or a lover, this a soulmate situation. You guys will be friends until the day you die. All right, that's the type of situation that's that's on my board. Even with teenagers, you guys have that bond. It's comic, okay? So do your best to understand and work together. And remember, at the end of the day, there's there's love, but it's that everlasting love. It's not love hate, okay? But um. It keeps bringing me back to, to what's in the middle, but I, I don't want to feed into that. Something, it's like a little warning, whatever this truth is. I think there was a setup, troops, with multiple people involved. And I did mention a camera. I don't know what that's all about. Um, God forbid somebody videotaped you and it was done on purpose. Like their friend set it up and then next thing you know, you're videotaped. And somebody's got that evidence. Somebody's got something. And so that's what I'm saying. Once something comes out, it's a new start with someone, but it's an ending to either some friends that are family, that are DNA, or just friends. But I think the lesson here, at the end of the day, what spirit's stressing is the two of you, because the love is more powerful. That's the, where the real love lies. But there's something in love and lies, you know? <laughs> That's where love lies, but at the same time, there's love and there's lies. Whatever this is, it, I think the feminine might want to walk away. They already walked away, but when they have this conversation, because there's love, you'll probably have the conversation. It, it's like, I don't know what you're going to do. I, I, I think it will end up being okay, though. It looks like it will be okay, but don't. I'm not going to fool yourself. This is like a warning. So don't jump the gun and, and walk away, especially in the middle of a conversation. It's you guys' karma to hear each other out on this scenario, whatever, whatever's in the middle. So it's kind of like, hey, baby, why don't you just meet me in the middle? You know, so it's like, it's, it's that synergy, guys, all right? I wish you luck. Best, best wishes for all of you, okay? <clears throat> difficult, difficult situation. So for those who are just living their life, walked away from a situation like this, continue living your life. All right. It looks good. It looks like you're making money. You got you got things going on. You're nurturing yourself, your friendship, your children, if you got children, you, you know, so it's like, don't let this type of read get the best you either. I'm just telling you what's out in the ethers. Apparently that was the message for today. Okay. And Mercury is in, in, um, Taurus. Okay. This can sit for a while. Like, again, it could, it could be a couple hours. It could be a couple days. It could be a couple weeks. This could have been going on for, you know, months, years. Okay. But um, it, it looks like, you know, it's telling me what's, what's, what's next. Because I asked your best advice, and the best advice was to nurture it and have a new start. Okay. Find the passion again. It's that unity coming back together. So... To me, is saying, you guys, you have a shot to figure it out. Let me pull what's next. What's next with this situation? I, I can't say like by days, but what's what's next? You guys are going to be arguing. You're going to be arguing. You gotta learn something. Somebody made an unwise choice, okay, and that's what's next. You're arguing, okay. So, anything else? So there's that. You're gonna be arguing. <clears throat> I don't think it's, it's going to tell me. I said, what's next? And there's an argument. So if you ask me, here comes a conversation. It's not 
anything, anything. Thank you. Then you got the Ten of Earth and the Ace of Air. All right. So it's an argument, but it's it's seeing the truth in a situation with the Ace of Fire. The truth is coming. It's a challenge in the beginning, but the Ten of Earth is you guys can have a very happy family life, financial security too, finding the magic in the little things. Like I said, it's, it's, it's that synergy. Okay. But what's next is arguing. And then it looks like if the tool you choose to move forward, you will find the magic again. It's a beautiful message, but I'm not going to lie to you. It is going to be a very challenging new beginning. And before this beginning can start, there definitely looks like there's an argument. Okay. So, I love you guys. At the bottom of the deck, you got the, the eight of earth. Oh, that was at the bottom of the deck. But it is coming together, working together. All right. I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.